Insight can also be used to analyze the building performance of detailed building element models that you've created in Revit. These building element models can be created by converting the surfaces of a conceptual mass model, by placing new Revit elements, or by a combination of both of these methods. As a first step in analyzing building element models, you can use schematic types to describe the thermal properties of the building surfaces. Schematic types specify the construction to be used for the different categories of elements in your model, overriding the conceptual types that were used to describe the surface properties in your conceptual models. Start by opening the Revit project to be used for this analysis. Open the conceptual model dash simple L building Revit model. If you already have a developed building element model and would like to work with it, Open that Revit model and skip ahead to the Set Project Location step in this lesson. Let's start by creating building elements from the conceptual model Mass Faces. If the mass is not visible in the selected view, enable visibility by clicking the Mass and Site tab in the ribbon, opening the Show Mass by View Settings from the drop down menu in the Conceptual Mass panel. Then select Show Mass Form and Floors. You can create wall, floor, or roof elements by modeling them using the Create Tools in the Architecture tab or by using the Model by Face tools on the Massing and Site tab. It is typically best to start by converting the mass floors in your conceptual model into Revit building elements. Click the Massing and Site tab and open the Floor by Face tool. Then choose a floor type from the type selector in the Properties palette and select one or more mass floors, then click the Create Floor button. Next, we'll convert the upper surface of the mass to a roof. Click the Massing and Site tab and open the Roof by Face tool. Choose a roof type from the type selector in the Properties palette and select the upper surface in the mass model, then click the Create Roof button. Next, we'll convert the vertical faces to wall or curtain wall elements. Click the Massing and Sight tab and open the Wall by Face tool. Choose a wall type from the type selector in the Properties palette. For walls, also select the location line to be used for placing the new wall element. Select each vertical mass face in the model, and as you click each face, that surface will be converted into a Revit wall element. Finally, add doors, windows, and curtain walls to complete the envelope of the building element model. To assist with our analysis, we'll open a building element model that has already been created from the conceptual mass model. Open the building model dash simple L building Revit model. This is a completed example of a building element model that could be developed from the conceptual mass model during the last step. Before analyzing this model, we need to set the project location. Go to the Analyze tab and open the Location tool. Choose to define location by Internet Mapping Service. Enter an address, for example, Miami, Florida, then click Search. Select the location. If multiple locations match your search, you may need to select one from the pop-up menu that appears. Also, if a list of weather stations appears, select the closest one or the one with the most similar conditions to the project location. One done, click OK to apply these settings to the model. Next, you can set the energy settings to be used for the analysis. On the Analyze tab, open Energy Settings. Select the applicable model. For models that include only building elements, choose Use Building Elements. For models that contain a mixture of conceptual masses and building elements, you can choose Use Conceptual Masses and Building Elements. For this analysis, choose the Use Building Elements mode. Choose a project phase if one is not already selected. 
If Revit reports an error indicating that there are no building elements available in the selected phase, verifies that the phase where you have modeled your design is selected. For most new projects, this phase is new construction. Open the Advanced Energy Settings for other options by clicking Edit. In the Advanced Energy Settings dialog, select the building type. Choose the building type for this model that matches your assumptions about the building usage and operating schedule. For our analysis, let's choose Office. Next, we'll select Schematic Types to set the thermal properties for building elements. In the Advanced Energy Settings dialog, open Schematic Types to override the conceptual types used in the conceptual analysis. Click the Value column, select the cell labeled Building, then click the Action button with three dots at the right end of the cell. In the Schematic Types dialog, Turn on the Override checkbox for each category for which the thermal properties will be defined by choosing an analytic construction. For example, override and change these categories by choosing values from the drop-down list available for each category. For roofs, choose R30 over Roof Deck. For exterior walls, turn on the checkbox and choose R19 Metal Frame Walls for the analytic construction. For slabs, turn on the checkbox and choose Slab Edge R10 Insulation as the analytic construction. And for exterior windows, turn on the checkbox and select Large Single Glazed Windows as the analytic construction. As you view the analytical constructions available, note that the relevant thermal properties, such as U values for all surfaces and solar heat gain coefficients for glazed surfaces, are displayed for each of the constructions. To select an override for all categories, click All. Or to unselect all, you can click the None button. Click OK to apply these schematic type settings. Then click OK twice to close the Energy Settings dialog and apply the Energy Settings to the model. With these Energy Settings selected, we're now ready to generate insight for this model. Go to the Analyze tab and click Generate. If the Energy model has not already been created, accept the prompt to create one now. If the Energy model already exists, choose whether to use the existing model or to generate a new one. Click OK to send the energy model to the cloud for analysis. If InSight returns an error message indicating that the energy model cannot run successfully, try deleting extraneous detail from your model. Look for any elements that add geometric complexity, but will have minimal impact on the energy performance, such as interior walls or half walls that separate spaces that are in the same thermal zone. Look for site surfaces, for example, parking lots, walkways, or patios that might be adding complexity. Finally, look for stairs or shaft openings that might be adding complexity to the model. Again, you should remove any of these elements that are adding complexity but will have minimal impact on the energy performance and try running the model again to see if it will work successfully. Once the insight analysis is complete, you can access and view the results. Go to the Analyze tab and click Optimize to access the results in the InSight interface. You can also access the energy analysis results at any time by logging into the website insight360.autodesk.com and selecting Insights. Logging into the website does not require you to have Revit open. On the website, navigate to and open your project. New projects will always appear in the All Uncategorized InSight. Now let's set some baseline assumptions and save these as a baseline scenario. Let's start by changing the Ranger value for the following factors. For the operating schedule, select 12.6. For the lighting efficiency factor, choose 0.7 to 0.3 watts per square foot. For the plug load's efficiency factor, choose 0.6 watts per square foot. 
After making these changes to the factors, select the Add Scenario button at the top right of the Model Viewer, then click the Action button, the three dots to the right of the untitled scenario name, and choose Rename from the pop-up menu to change the name of this scenario. Set the name of this scenario to Baseline Scenario. After saving the Baseline Scenario, note the large difference in the EUI mean or annual cost mean created by adjusting these baseline settings to accurately reflect these known values.